This is day two of my 30 days challenge of learning cyber security. Today I completed networking essentials room on Try Hack Me. The topics that were included in this room were basically protocols that were DHCP, ARP, ICMP and NAT. First and foremost DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Now imagine if you want to connect your device to a new network. It must have an IP address of that network to be properly configured with that network. Now you have never manually configured that IP addresses. Then how it is possible that your device connects with that network? Basically the process of getting new IP addresses and configuration with that network is done automatically. And this automatic process is possible due to DHCP. Now the process of configuration with this new network happens in four steps which we abbreviated as DORA, D-O-R-A and it stands for Discovery, Offer, Request, Acknowledgement. So this is how your device automatically configure with the new network and you connect your devices easily. The second topic is ARP which stands for Address Resolution Protocol. Now in the DHCP process there is no revelation of MAC addresses. Now we know that two devices on the same network communicates using their MAC addresses. Now your device when connects to a new network, other devices of that network doesn't know the MAC address of your device. Now how will they communicate with each other? For this purpose we have ARP. Basically there are two steps of revealing MAC addresses to each other. So that's how they get to know the MAC addresses of each other. Thirdly, we have ICMP protocol which stands for Internet Control Message Protocol. We use this protocol for network diagnosis and error handling. There are two common commands which use ICMP protocol that are ping command and trace root command. Trace root is actually Linux based and the windows we use trace cert command. You can see the spelling on the screen. Now this ping command is used to test the connectivity and RTT which stands for round trip time. And this trace root command is used to trace the exact route that our packet will follow to the host destination. Last but not least we have routing which is actually process of finding best path for a packet to travel to the destination point. Now for this purpose some algorithms are used in order to calculate the best possible path. Some protocols that are used to calculate the best possible path are OSPF, RIP, BJP and EIGRP. Now each one has their distinct purpose. 